Check out the 30-30 real quick. I like the feel. I like the feel a lot. Let's throw a 2x4 on this piece. Oh, it's got some... Or got some drop to it. Okay. Thinking the three piece is gonna be our best bet here. Can't keep a hard bloke down. Check fuses pickup animation. Audio. What's a pickup animation for fuse? It's kind of, it's kind of snazzy. Bro, can this fucking shit unpack already? Not gonna lie, the damage is like super underwhelming. But honestly, I'd rather it be really underwhelming than really annoying. Um, let's see if they change anything about Anvil. Let's take a look. I doubt they did. But just for the sake of checking it out, let's see. <clears throat> 70, 35. Yeah, it's the same. So, Fuse's ult is a, uh, it's a mortar, right? So if you look, you can see the arc goes up and then it detonates in the air and then shoots fire down and around. So if you shoot this, like, say I'm, say I'm here, right? And I'm not paying perfect attention and I'm trying to like shoot it down there or some shit. It's going to hit that and then spread. If I were to shoot this indoors, it would probably not end very well for me. If I go mag, see how long it takes to reload. I'm curious with the 3030 if it fully reloads the, the 3030s mag or what. This rate of fire is ridiculous, by the way. Absolutely ridiculous, that, that rate of fire. For the, the damage that's doing per bullet, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it fully reloads 3030. So gold mag 3030 is like god tier. Yeah, chat, I fully expect the 3030 to be one of the best weapons of the season. Yeah, just look at the ult, uh, or the, the range on Fuse ult, right? Like, this shit... You can't tell me this, this character isn't designed a third party. Like, this is a third party character. 100%. Designed a third party. Like, oh, what do you know? There's a Gibby bubbled up over there? You just trap their bubble. Oh, their bubble fell. And they're just dead. What are they going to do? Run into the fire and get slowed and then make it easier for you to hit them? <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm files. Also, second, so. you yeah. can yeah. shoot yeah. nades yeah. a little far. Was it taking its time to reach or where did it go? Where'd it go? I'm gonna be a repeater main. I think we all are. <laughs> yeah, well, that's gonna be this season's meta. Just... So the line isn't completely accurate. That actually works. So it falls a little bit short. But that's still like... That's still really far. Really far. Like... Like, if I got hit by that, that's that's pretty much... That's a better knuckle duster. I think frags on this character are actually gonna be nasty for, if they're, like, really far away. Like, if, if there's good distance between you and your target, a frag grenade, a well-placed frag grenade is actually gonna be so annoying. Let's see what we can do, like, if we were to ult, right? Because we can ult all the way over there. Actually, it'll probably hit the spine, no? Does that have more of a forward trajectory? It lobs more forward, right? So if I were to ult that, right? I'm pretty sure that's the range that my frag grenade will instantly detonate. 
Yeah, it is. So like, this would literally just be instant death. Instant death for anyone in that circle. I don't think this character will be meta, but I think he'll be really annoying. and drop a lot of his fire well yeah i mean if for example a wraith gets trapped in there she can just like you know and her team is trapped in there she can just drop her port and portal them out but um like obviously there's counterplay to it um but if you're not thinking fast enough to you know use your counterplay because people aren't going to be used to it immediately if fuse were to be like picked up in pro play and people were like used to fighting a fuse then like sure um, people will react to that immediately. But until people get familiar with him, there's going to be a lot of people that just get ulted by Fuse, and then they're just like, well, shit, what now? And they die. Repeater is a worse anvil flatline. Let's test that. Alright, so anvil flatline. 43, it consumes two bullets. 86 100 42 So you're using double the ammo on an anvil flatline With a lower fire rate For one more damage per bullet and a 14 less damage headshot How is it better? And you don't even need to fully charge it to like get a good bonus out of the headshot multiplier like 30 bullets though? I mean, that doesn't matter because this thing can load one bullet at a time, which is both a bad thing and a strength of this gun. Because you don't need to like blow a whole reload animation. You can just reload as many as you need to finish the kill and then keep going. Also, ADSing cancels the reload animation. So you don't need to, you don't need to left click to cancel. You can just ADS and it cancels this animation. And the rate of fire on this is absolutely crazy. Well, I'm pretty sure it gets rid of the fusel. It wouldn't make sense if it didn't, right? Yeah. Has a hip fire on it. Seems like Scout. Not bad. Ooh. That longbow at the end looks pretty sick, to be honest. Yeah, like, unfortunately, it's a longbow, but, like, it, it's good looking. But, yeah. 